I am very happy to introduce Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of North Carolina. This center was started by Swami Sahananda Maharaj in 2008. The inspiration we started in Dakshineshwar, the inspiration we started in Kashipur Garden House, and the inspiration which actually inspired Swami Vivekananda to preach the message of harmony and peace and this joy to spread all over in the life of everyone. That center is one of, this is one of such center. And this center is continuing in emanating the message of Vedanta, harmony of religion, divinity of the soul and helping those who come over here in their spiritual growth and development in a very broad perspective where all the religious people of different attitudes can come and assemble and make their life blessed and peaceful by looking at their inner development of the soul and helping others serving others, saluting others with great respect and love, this center should create new generation of young people who will be forwarding their ideology, carrying their ideology and manifest that great principle of devotion and love for God and for humanity. Namaskar everyone. You heard earlier from Swami Sarvadevanandaji a little bit about the beginning of the Vedanta Society of North Carolina, how we have a great debt of gratitude to Swami Swahanandaji. He had tremendous zeal to see the teachings of Vedanta and to see devotion for Swami Krishna and Holy Mother and Swamiji spread throughout the country. And Swami Sarvadevanandaji has an equal zeal and he's also uh, doing uh, all of the same things that Swami Swananji did. So we're very grateful to him as well. We know that when Swamiji, Swami Vivekananda, came to this country, that uh, he wanted to bring the principles of Vedanta more than the, simply the personality of, of Sri Ramakrishna and uh, others. He wanted to see that uh, these beautiful liberal teachings of the harmony of religions, of the uh, blending of the four yogas, and this uh, uh, other wonderful tradition of striving for self-realization at the same time working for the welfare of others. So this was really, uh, these were really some of the main features of Vedanta in this country. And we see all of these in the Vedanta Society of North Carolina, that uh, devotionally, uh, all the pujas that are done, the arati that's done every evening, uh, wonderful devotion that's shown uh, when they have all the special worship programs. 
karma yoga, this center especially does a lot of work with uh, local people, with the, the homeless and poor people, as well as raising funds for India and for Raja Yoga is a wonderful place for meditation and Jnana Yoga. Constantly we're getting lectures by the visiting Swamis here, so a beautiful blend of the four yogas and again this idea to work for the welfare of others and not just care about our own uh, spiritual growth, that they go hand in hand. So we see this very nice blend uh, at this center and, and uh, now we have a nice cozy little house, but uh, as the center is growing, we feel the need to expand a little bit, and uh, everything will happen through Takwa's grace and the participation of all the devotees. So we really sincerely hope that uh, all of you will feel inspired to work for the center. The most important thing is participation, but also uh, funds are always necessary for this type of work. So, and in whatever way you can help the growth of this center, the work of uh, Swamiji, the teachings of Sri Ramakrishna and Holy Mother, to help them uh, grow and become more important in this country, that'll be a great benefit to the center and to yourselves as well. So we pray for the blessings of Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother, Swamiji, all the direct disciples, that uh, they would shower their blessings on, on the center, and on all of the devotees and on all of us. <laughs>